What's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be working on Luke's truck once again. Now you guys can tell by the title of the video that we will be doing an installation of a header on his truck. This whole, this whole thing will just clean up all the emissions and stuff. Plus, I don't know, maybe get a little more performance and make it sound better. You guys can see here, Luke is, I guess, what are you doing? You're modeling it? Yeah, I'm modeling it, dude. Something, she's I don't know. beautiful. I don't look know what he's it. doing. Just look at her. Yeah, it's nice and chrome. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> sick. Wow. But, uh, I mean, where, where'd you get this thing? You got it off of Amazon? Yeah, it's on Amazon. So we'll see how this whole thing fits and works. Hopefully it's nice. Um, We'll post it if it's any good. Yeah, I'll be sure to link it down in the description below if you guys are interested in this. If it, it if it is a good product, but basically what it's going to do is delete all this emission stuff. So you guys can see here, these are the three pipes. This one down here is still kind of pumping out exhaust just because we couldn't get it to shut right or I guess completely shut it off like this. Mm -hmm. So having the header will clean all that up as well as delete the two cats and possibly give it a little performance. Now, Maybe. I guess before we get into this install, there's a few things I want to talk about. First things first, um, the last video we did was color. Now we let you guys kind of vote on colors and decide, but I think what, we got one more color to let them pick from, which is this here. It is aluminum with a purple interference pearl. I honestly like this one the most, I think. I mean, Me it's too. better than the whites. The whites kind of turned kind of greenish or whatever. They're gross looking. Where this one I think looks much better aside from like the dip like well, stretching out, but itself. that's fine. I mean, it just means I sprayed it too heavy, but uh, so that's another one in the running for you guys to pick from. I guess you said it kind of looks like... Uh, looks like Frieza. Yeah, which if we do that, I mean, it kind of deletes the whole Majin theme for this truck. I think we're gonna keep it Majin, but maybe do the Frieza color. I mean, you can do both. I think it'll be yeah, cool. why not? It's kind of, it's kind of a bad guy. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's a, a villain you're, truck. You're a villain it's truck. It's a villain truck. So we'll let you guys kind of pick from that. I'll be sure to like post it on my Instagram, let you guys kind of decide if you guys like that one or not, or maybe have more color suggestions. We'll do some more speed shape yeah, samples well. or something if you guys have any more ideas. Now, the other thing that I want to discuss is the Civic over here. Luke and I got a little crazy one day and just decided to take it all apart. Um, main thing for that, main reason for that, I guess, is just to see what parts I needed to order, just to see what's still salvageable on this car. So I didn't know if you guys wanted to see that. I mean, you and I had never- we just jumped right into it. Yeah, we had never pulled an engine out or anything like that. Or Learned guess, a lot. Yeah, we did learn quite a bit. So if that's the other thing you guys are interested in seeing, I, I mean, let me know in the comments below if you guys think it'd be something you guys want to see. But you can see there, we got the engine out. Um, it is disgusting. I mean, it's an absolute mess. I wish we could clean it up just to kind of go over it a little bit more. I think we'll save that for a video. We'll tear it down and see. See basically, what we can keep, what we can't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when we pulled this engine out, we didn't know how bad a shape it was, but the oil pan has a giant hole in the bottom. So I had kind of discussed in a previous video that I wanted to keep the head on this car just to maybe the VTEC swap. I did, I don't. I don't know, it was just an idea. But after seeing that, I'm pretty sure that the head might be pretty bad on this, so it may not be salvageable. Some of the other stuff that we ran into was the axles. Um, we managed to get the driver's side out, which is one that I believe we need for doing the swap. Mm -hmm. The passenger side one isn't necessary, but seeing it how bad that one is, that one's seized up in there, and the driver's side one is in okay shape, but it's a little bit rougher than what I thought it was gonna be. Dirty. It's very, yeah, it's kinda got some rust and stuff on it, so I think we're just gonna buy new of that, so. This, like I said, gives me a list of things to do as far as things to order, so now I know exactly what I need rather than just being like, whatever, transmission kit and... Clutch, know, clutch yeah. All I mean. that stuff. So, this car is completely torn apart now. I believe it's done. I don't know if it'll still be here in the background. Here in the future videos, we may just go ahead and scrap it and say we're done with it. Oh, and the other thing I want to discuss too is the wheels. I ended up swapping out these wheels with my buddy Brad. He uh, had these wheels, they were junk. I mean, the tires are fine on the fronts, but the backs, you guys can see over there, are just completely blown out. So I traded him my um, stock black steelies, so he has something to run on his car. He's got an EK hatch Civic, so I don't know, maybe. It needs to, it needs to show up. We need, to, we need to get that car out here. We need to play around with it. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. And I kind of want you guys to go over and bug Brad on his Instagram. I'll link it down below. Tell him to get that car built, because it's a pretty sick little Civic. I mean, for being in Iowa, she's and being rust sitting, free, dude. she's just setting, we need to get that thing built, so. This is kind of a little shout out to Brad. We need to get you working on your car. But otherwise, I think, like I said, this Civic is done. I don't know if it'll be in the background of the videos anymore. It'll probably just Hopefully be scrapped. Hopefully the red one's here. Hopefully the red one's back inside. But for today, we're gonna go ahead, do the, or not the transmission, but the header on, this, on the truck. So I think the first thing we should do is maybe give them a sound clip of just the, Sample? a little sound clip of the uh, stock header. Right. So we'll let you guys hear that. And then once you get this all done, we'll put that one on and let you guys hear it with the new header. The only problem is like we said, is we don't have a rest of the exhaust. So it's probably gonna be loud for a little while. 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and have Luke start the car. Um, don't let it run for too long because I don't really want to get the header too hot for when we take it off. Yeah, but uh, this will just be enough to give you guys a sound clip of it. So go ahead and fire it up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that was the lineup clip, but you guys can kind of hear there. It's, it's not really loud. I mean, it is kind of loud, but it's not super loud. loud. I'm sure this header will be a lot louder just because it'll probably be just it's just gonna be dumping. <laughs> Straight header. So let's go ahead and get the stock one off now. We're about to get all that emission stuff off and then we can go ahead and put this one on. So the first thing we just got off here was these, whatever, four bolts here. I believe they were 19s. So yep. they just came off there. Um, the only thing that's hanging it on now is there's, I believe there's like a 10 millimeter way is down it? in there. We need mil. to get that bracket off. Down here. You can see the whole thing. Hope you guys can see that. The whole thing just kind of wiggles around, but the bracket's holding it on. So I'll delete that. These two here. They go which, all the way down. Yeah, they go all the way down there. So we'll have to get those out. Mount. And then we can go ahead and get like underneath there and take the actual um, exhaust and off. We might be cutting. Possibly. We'll find out. She's so rusty. Let's try to get that 10 mil out right now. Okay, so we just managed to get this pipe out. Just that little bracket. I don't know if you guys can even see down there, but it was a 10 millimeter. Um, this pipe is absolutely disgusting. So I should probably be wearing gloves. Um, next up, we'll go ahead, like I said, take out these two pipes, down as well there. as disconnecting the actual exhaust from the The flange that's header. down over here. Okay, so we're currently underneath the uh, truck. I got it all jacked up and everything. This right here is the motor mount. So on the driver's side, so you go directly underneath there, you can see there's one nut there, one nut there, and then if we slide back here, there's another one. I hope you guys can see this. Let me try to position the light a little bit better there's one here one there there's another one on this side and then what'd you say luke you thought there was another one there should be four total i think four or five what is that one two three four five so yeah there's five right here and that should drop all of that and then we'll have to go back here let me try to move the light and drop that exhaust piece right there where well, luke's got his from, hand from here it should drop. It should drop from here. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna try to get those out. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film it at all just because it's so tight and dark down here. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try to get these out and then I'll bring you guys back and once the, it's completely yeah, out. The first two are 12s, the other, the last, or the other ones are 14s, by the way. Yeah, okay, so these first two right here. Yep, first two are 12s. So right here and here are 12s and then the rest of them back are 14s. Yep. Okay, so we'll get those out now and then bring you guys back once they're all the way out. Okay, so we just managed to get those pipes out. You guys can see there, they're sitting there on the floor. Um, it's a gasket for them too. They're just disgusting. I mean, they're covered they're... in oil. We got our gloves on now. I wish we had more gloves to be honest, make things a little bit nicer. But you can see there, there are the two holes down there where the bracket was held on. And then there's the actual like uh, emission stuff right there where it was connected to the cat. So next up, now that we have that out, we're gonna need to go ahead and disconnect it here from the actual motor itself. So we'll get those out. I'm not sure exactly what size we need. I guess we'll take off the heat shield yeah, first, heat shield as well as O2. the O2 sensor. So we'll get that out, and then we'll be able to see exactly what size we need. Okay, so we just managed to get all of the uh, heat shield bolts off. This one actually snapped off, and then there's one down here, and then there's one right there. Is that it? Yeah, there's one here, one here, one, one there. there. And then one at the back. And then one on the back. And then you also have to take out the O2 sensor, which we have here. This thing looks pretty shot. So. Also was not plugged in. Yeah, it's not plugged so, in. But, and the car still works, doesn't have any issues or anything, which is kind of weird. Probably don't need it. Nope. So now we can go <laughs> ahead and the heat shield should come off. Right? You want to go ahead and grab yeah, it, I guess? Yeah, see if I can grab it. Yeah. Yeah. There, there we go. And there she is, bare header. Cool. So now it's all exposed. It's got a um, really funny cast it does. in the middle. It's just separate right there. So now it looks like we just have one, two, I'm guessing there's probably one back there, three, four, five, and six, and then that should come separate. And I believe we maybe can just separate it from here. I'm not really sure yet, but we have it separated from down below. And we're gonna so find that enough. should all be loose. Um, I think we'll just come ahead and just kind of take it off from here and see what happens and uh, see how it is. Oh yeah, we also pulled the dipstick out of the way just because we kept whapping it. Yeah, so that's out now. Um, otherwise, everything seems to be pretty easy. I don't. I'm actually surprised that these bolts aren't really breaking off aside from the first one. But we'll go ahead and take those out. I'm assuming they're probably 12 millimeters as well. So let's uh, try to get those out next. Okay, so you 
you guys just saw, we managed to get all of these out. They are 12 millimeters. You guys seen that there's, I guess you guys saw probably in the clip, there's just five. I actually went ahead and got the one that was clear out back here. It's a little bit of a challenge breaking these loose, but here they are. So now those are separate. Um, there's also, I believe, some washers on here that we'll have to get off as well. But I think we're gonna go ahead and disassemble it up from here. So then the whole header will just come off. So we're going to do that next. I believe those are 14s, right? Yes, yeah, those are yes. 14s. Okay, so we'll get those off. Well, we managed to get all those bolts out and everything. Got those taken out, and then there's a bracket. I'm gonna go ahead and try and show it back there. Bracket back there that has the top two on ours were 13s, and the front two were 12s. I don't know if that's the same on all of them, or I don't know. It was just maybe this one. Um, you can see the catalytic converter did drop, so that's out of the way. So we can go ahead and take off the stock one here. She's big and oh yeah, she's pretty heavy. We're losing some washers, so we'll go ahead and set this all the way down over here. So that's out of the way now. Um, cat. That should pull off, I think. Yep. Yep, that's out now. Look at that gasket, dude. It's a big boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's pretty plugged. I don't know, we can maybe try to hold a light up through it. And yeah, see, we should. See if you can see through the other side. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to. Nope. So, now that those two are out of the way, um, I think we have to get rid of that pipe. You can kind of see way back in there's a flange. There's no way that flange is coming off. That thing is so rusted, so mm -hmm. we're probably gonna cut it off, I guess, for now. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, there you guys have it. The uh, I mean, stock, every, yeah. stock exhaust manifold's out, so. Everything else should just drop from here. Yep, it, everything, I mean, it just kinda sucks. You guys can just see how bad, like, the oil and stuff it's is. It's cake. We should honestly, like, get some carb clear and stuff or some brake really? clean. I don't know if we have any more, but clean that up. Use it all. We no. may try to go get some and clean this up. Um, but anyway, I think we're, like I said, we're gonna cut that off, that flange down there, because I guarantee that's gonna be too rusty, and put the new header on. So we were trying to get the exhaust off and use the uh, factory one, but as you guys can see here, well, I guess, you, you will see You here. think you can pull it out? Yeah, see. So, the exhaust is out of the car, you guys can clearly see that somebody has gone through and tried making their own. I mean, it's like held on by tape here and here. There's holes in the muffler itself on both ends so this whole thing's shot you can see they put on a new pipe right here to old to the old pipe yeah it's just covering up a weld it looks like it's just like aluminum tape yep. of some kind and then back here this is the section that we we're going to try to save but obviously it's not going to happen these bolts are so rusted up and then the pipe itself has giant holes in it so i think here in the future i think we're gonna have to try to remake this exhaust what do you think dude yeah I mean, we don't really have a choice. I mean, we might as well just like kind of straight pipe it. But for now, I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is put on the header and that secondary pipe that they have here, which is this here. We already have it kind of mounted together. So we'll see how well those fit together. Um, but like we mentioned earlier, we need to clean off this engine because it's just covered in oil. It's disgusting. So we'll clean that up and then put on the new header. And I guess we gotta figure out something to do with that exhaust because that thing's junk. It's Absolute terrible junk. So I guess for now it's just gonna be open header. It's gonna it's, be loud. it's gonna be loud. All right, so loud. we'll be right back. We're gonna run, go pick up some brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner or whatever to try to clean this engine. Maybe some more gloves. And yeah, some more gloves because these things are getting pretty destroyed. And uh, so we'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, so now we just managed to get back. We're gonna pick up some brake clean. Luke's already going to town over here and he's spraying it down, getting it all the gunk and crap taken off. It's not really going anywhere either. Yeah, it's, we have it's to agitate it. It's pretty nasty. So we're gonna sit here and clean it up for a little bit. We'll bring you guys back once we get that done and then we will go ahead and put the header on. That shouldn't be too difficult. I think, I don't know, just a few bolts. Comes with the gasket and everything. And uh, like we said, it's gonna be super loud just because we have no exhaust now. Um, there's really no point in running this anymore just because it's rotted out all the way. It's been replaced at one point. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do with that at the moment. I say we leave it as is and just try to copy it yeah. as close we, as we can. I mean, we got a welder, we can play around with it. If not, we can always take it up to a shop and have one professionally made if yeah, you really wanted to. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. But for now, like I said, let's just get that cleaned up. So we went ahead, we got the engine cleaned up as much as possible. I mean, it's kind of a lost cause at this point, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's such like a disaster. There's so much oil everywhere. But here it is, you guys can see, it is, it's better. We used the both cans of brake clean that we had. You can actually see the AC compressor now. You can see like the, uh, all the nuts and bolts and stuff, everything like down there for like the uh, engine mount and everything. So it's all visible now. The only thing that sucks is it does look like kind of like splattered up and kind of stain the white valve cover. 
I mean, it is what it is. It's all right. You guys can see here just how bad the floor became it's a mess. It's actually but... super slippery. Yeah, it. I don't know. There's just so much oil and engine sludge all over that. I mean, yeah, you just wipe that up. That's that's <laughs> disgusting. So let's go ahead, I guess, now finish this off and get this header installed and then see what it sounds like. Okay, so we just managed to get the header in. It's completely done now. It looks awesome. I mean, it's way better than what it was before. It's really Red. cleaned up the engine bay now. Um, basically, what we went through is just use the same exact nuts and uh, washers that were on the other header and got it on there. The kit does come with a gasket, so we have the gasket in place there. We have the lower piece down there connected. O2 sensor is actually O2, plugged in. Oh yeah, O2 sensor is plugged in. We found the connector over here on this side, so that's back to being plugged in. Um, the kit also comes with another gasket for this flange here, but unfortunately we're not gonna be able to use this exhaust because, I mean, it's, it's rotted trashed. from like there to there, so that's junk. Um, so you may need to figure out some way to either remake that or have another shop make that. I'm not really sure yet, but like I said, the kit did come with another gasket, some nuts, another bolts, washers, all that stuff. So we do have that when we, when we are ready to use that. Um, basically the pipe that came with it replaces this section here. So the main thing we need to make is just from that section back. So I guess now that we have it all done, let's, uh, fire this thing up and see what it sounds like. I'm sure it's gonna be freaking loud. So let's, uh, let's set you guys up and try to... Try to get the sound clip for it. All right, let's fire it up and hear this thing. Here we go. Holy crap, is that loud? I was not expecting that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, well. That scared me. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, <laughs> well, we might have to wait to do that in the morning just because it's too late right now. That was way louder than I thought it was gonna be. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Ow, man. <laughs> We are definitely going to need to make an exhaust for this. I mean, I really want to get a sound clip for this, but that is just way too loud. That was some bad cackles and pops. Um, yeah, so... I'm glad I didn't keep it running. So, uh, I, kinda, I still kind of want to hear what it sounds like. I want to get it running. Uh, should we? I'm thinking... I, I kind of okay. want to. All right. It stinks. It does. It smells like fresh, uh... I want ear buffs. I'm sitting by it. it. smells like some fresh metal there, man. Some fresh oh. exhaust. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Just to give them, just to give them the one sound clip, dude. This is gonna be loud. Ooh. Yeah, shut it off. Holy cow, is that freaking loud. I mean, I don't think there's any exhaust leaks or anything, but I mean, just... Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to that. We're definitely going to need exhaust for that. I don't want to drive it until we get exhaust <laughs> for it. No, we'll have to definitely get exhaust for that. So, I mean, there you guys have it. You kind of got to hear it just a little bit. It is extremely loud. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and end the video out here. I mean, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we definitely gonna have plenty more stuff oh. coming with this truck. We um, if you're gonna buy this, don't buy the painted one. The painted one would peel. It peels. The black one. The black one peels. Okay, so I guess Luke says don't buy the black Sorry. one. So you're fine. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. Um, but yeah, we got plenty of other stuff coming for this truck. We still got to do, like I said, exhaust and everything. Just because this is way too loud. So hopefully next video maybe we do that. Not really sure. Oh, I guess we need to do the engine. We got to do the engine to see what's up with that. I can't wait to do that actually. Yep. So fun. stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one.